Hey everybody, Florida Fisherman here and I was looking at some scrap wood and I was looking at this motor which I got running and wired a switch into and I was thinking about uh, making another magne or, yeah, magnetic uh, stir plate for mixing up e-juice. This motor is a little bit more powerful than the other one that I have, which is basically a computer fan. So I think I'm going to take a stab at another one. So I figured I'd bring you guys along. I'm going to go ahead and cut this wood down and start getting this thing together. Well, it wasn't until I put the box together that I realized that these little circular cutouts that were in the wood originally are going to cause me a problem on screwing down the edges here. Not really a problem. I just wanted to put one top and one bottom and be done with it. Have it look all pretty, so I'll just have to rearrange where the screws go on that side. Personally, I could care less, and I don't think the e-juice will either, so... I will go ahead and pre-drill this and run some screws and see what we got. Well, we have the box all together. Both sides are screwed down, countersunk the holes. And as I stated earlier, I had to go ahead and rearrange the screws on this side to circumvent that circular cutout area in this scrap wood. So looks kind of odd but I really could care less we've got the side from the cut so I'll just shoot it with some black paint be done with it and the motor bracket actually fits in this box I built exactly perfectly but I think it's going to cause me a problem positioning where the magnet is in this box so I'll, I'll probably end up taking off the motor and the capacitor and remounting it a different way because I need that spindle on the bottom of this that I haven't showed you yet to be just underneath the plexiglass that I put on this but I think the motor is going to be happy in that box so as I get some more progress on this I'll bring you guys back well a few shots of paint and our color problem is taken care of and I went ahead and hit the top where the circular saw had chipped out some of the factory finish on this MDF or particle board or whatever it is they call it nowadays. So it'll work. This is the spindle assembly on the bottom of the motor. And I want to retain using this bracket because all these precision holes already drilled for the capacitor and the motor and the ground wire and whatnot. But my problem is, is I want to use this magnet and attach it to that, but as you can see the bracket extends beyond the magnet and I need the magnet up as close to the plexiglass as possible. So I'm going to have to end up cutting that guy off and cutting that guy off and remount this bracket another way. So I'm going to go ahead and chop this thing up with the angle grinder and I'm going to use this magnet that came from a speaker out of an iMac G3 uh, which is in another video where I went ahead and scrapped it if you guys want to check that out. Well I'm going to go ahead and leave a piece of that 90 degree bend in this bracket as long as it doesn't extend beyond that little spindle there which it doesn't. Bracket is trimmed down now to where I can go ahead and epoxy 
my magnet right onto the end of that spindle and we'll take it from there well while this household switch was good for basically testing out that motor it's really not feasible for me to be popping a hole that big in that box to mount that switch I mean it would work but I think I'm gonna go with something a little bit uh, more small so I looked through the electronics box and I've got a couple of switches here from various things and here's one off a TV and I think I'm gonna end up going with that well after looking these switches over I figured this one would be best for my purpose I can go ahead and mount that on the inside of the box it already has some holes drilled in it the button doesn't really stick out that far but I have a fix for that I think and I went ahead and wired it up and seems to work fine so I think I'm gonna go ahead and utilize that one well the button for the switch comes up exactly flush with the wood keeping me from pushing it in so let's fix that Okay, everyone. Well, I went ahead and moved my little operation inside, and I'm over at uh, the table where I work on mixing up my e-juice and, and whatnot. So, if you see syringes over there in the corner, don't leave me any smart comments. That's for mixing up the e-liquid. So, just covering my base before you guys called me on and i got to do my best to get that centered, so this way the magnet is not spinning off balance which is very important because it's going to throw a bunch of vibration into the motor if I get it off center so I'm going to work on that and basically get her JB welded up well even though we're not done with the current build uh, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you this is the other magnetic stir plate I made out of an old modem and I went ahead and threw 800 mil of water in that uh, ball jar and you can hear the bar spinning around and there goes the vortex and let me steady up this camera a little bit and we basically have a tornado in a jar well I've got it on and it looks to be dead center at least the best that I can eyeball it anyway so it's gonna have to do okay everybody the JB weld took a full day to set up I wanted to make sure this magnets not gonna be flying off of here so uh, I've got it back on and we're gonna go ahead and give her a spin here and it's looking pretty good let me get over top of it looks like I got it centered or the spindle centered on that magnet pretty dang good
Hey everyone, a little change of pace here because that other switch was just giving me a little bit too much trouble. Even though I already popped a custom hole uh, in the box just for it and I could make it work but the little spring-loaded thing keeps catching on the uh, on the wood and I don't want to have to bore out that center any bigger than I have to. So. What we're going to do is go ahead and take this switch out of this power supply. I have like five of these, so uh, I'll go ahead and sacrifice this one because I want this steel plate right here. And I'm going to go ahead and trim up a nice section of that and basically cover that hole. Well, time to break out the angle grinder and start cutting up a power supply. and made some more progress on this guy here so that's going to be my new switch now I get a finagle how to mount this guy in there and we'll see what it takes to get that done Went ahead and picked up a piece of plate glass from Lowe's for a dollar. 332nd. Had them cut it down to size so it fits the magnetic stir plate perfectly. Not bad for a buck. Alrighty, well I've got everything buttoned up and the guy works. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up all these wires and secure them in place so it's not getting caught up in that motor. And then we're going to throw the glass on. We're going to try this thing out. Be back in a few. Well, the build is done and it has its pluses and has its minuses and I'll tell you about that uh, here shortly. But everything's wired up and the problem I ran into was my magnet wasn't as powerful as I thought and the bar was uh, not getting gripped enough so I ended up throwing a neodymium magnet on there and what I had to do was go ahead and bend my bracket down a little bit because this was not mounted knowing that I would have to put on this additional magnet and it was too tall so I bent the bracket down which wasn't optimal but you turn it on and it comes on you turn it off and it goes off so let's go ahead and put the glass on and sh sorry about the shaky video I'm trying to work and hold the camera at the same time here. And let me make sure my bar is centered. And let's turn the guy on. And while it looks like it's success, I'm actually going to call this a failure. And it's important to publish your failures too. Well, the, well, the reason why I call this a failure, even though it seems to work beautifully, let me go ahead and shut this off. was this motor was taken out of a stereo 
And even though it's a really cool looking motor, let me go ahead and flip this guy over. And I really like the look of it. This thing was made for short duty cycles. This is for a cassette deck. You fast forward, you rewind the tape, it may run for 20 seconds tops rewinding a tape because it's pretty quick. Well, with a magnetic stir plate you're going to be spinning juice probably for, oh, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And this motor was just not made for that. So anything over about 30 seconds and that motor starts to get, well, hot. And it's certainly not meant to run for 30 minutes. So I'm going to call this build a failure. And I'm going to go back to the tried and true method. I have about 30 or 35 computer fans. Some from servers, some from computers. and I'm going to find out which one is the most powerful. And I'm going to go ahead and rework this build because the switch is good, the box is good, the power unit itself is no good. So I thought it important to go ahead and publish the video even though I'll never put this thing into use the way it is. And I'm going to go ahead and swap out the motor and I'll do another video once that one's complete. Well thanks for watching guys and sorry it was a disappointment. I did not even think or consider the issue about that motor getting hot until I turned it on. So live and learn. Florida Fisherman out.